Hello, everyone. We are on a roll today. I am doing lives with women warriors throughout the day. I am excited to talk with our second woman warrior of the IBA Success Edition. This is going to be a great day. This edition has meant so much to me. Okay. If you are tuning in, Hey, this is another Lifetime Woman Warrior Series with yours truly, Jennifer Yan, Jennifer Yan Agency and publisher of IBA Success Magazine. When I created my publication, it was just all about empowering and educating. So throughout these lives, you're going to get a little bit of me and you're also going to get a lot of the women that I admire that brought forth in this edition. Our next guest for the day, um, you know, uh, what can I say about Kimberly? I'm just going to tell a quick story before we bring her on. When I met her at an event, she was warm, she was real, she was genuine. For so long, I have been afraid and have almost gotten burnt from jumping into women groups and doing this addition to me was growth and it was being able to trust other women in business and knowing that you know what there are some real women out here that want you to be successful and want to support you so Kimberly is one of those women this is why I chose her to be one of the women warriors of this edition of IBA success magazine that is available for viewing and purchase right now I am now am pleased to introduce Kimberly um, to this live. Hi, Kimberly Laboo. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm excited. You know, when I get to do what I love, um, and this is like my job, it's like, what, what, yeah. how can you not have a great day and be excited? <laughs> I know, I understand completely. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've met, uh, uh, I feel like it's been almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, through one of both of our dear friends, uh, Laura Dorsey, who is our master story writer. Um, you two have a lot of similarities um, in the industry, but your business takes a lot of the content and really put it into a book. Yeah. You know, you bring dreams to life um, with so many individuals that have a story to tell. Yes, and I absolutely love what I do. Um, it's, it's a real joy to be able to help people to put their stories out as published authors. And some, so many people think that it's impossible for them to do. You know, I, we work with a lot of first time authors and it's always just a pleasure to be able to walk them from through the process from beginning to end and then have them to have that finished product in their hand. And it's always so exciting. Yes. So if you're just tuning in, we're on our Women Warriors series live time. Um, Kimberly, what was your warrior title in this edition? Oh, my gosh. The actual title. I'm, I can't remember what the actual that's title okay. is. You are our publisher warrior. <laughs> oh, that's what you was like. Do I have a title? <laughs> I got you. That's your title. That yes. Is publishing warrior. warrior. How could I even forget that? <laughs> yes, that's okay. You are our publishing warrior. You know, um, what makes you a publishing warrior? Tell us about your business, you know, from when you decided you wanted to be a publisher. Yeah. So my writing journey actually started uh, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And when I published my first book, I really did think that that was going to be it. Like I wasn't a writer, you know, I didn't profess to be a writer or anything. I really was writing to um, heal and to release. Mm -hmm. And so after that book was written, though, I, I got the writer's bug and now I'm getting ready to release my 13th book. Um, we start start marketing that on Monday. And um, people just started asking, you know, of course, how did you do that? And as I began to write more and more, I began holding um, writers boot camps and helping people to publish their books. And I had done it so much that there came a time when, you know, God had sit me down and say, okay, let's look at this, mm -hmm. you know, and had me to 
write down all the people that I had helped to get published. And then then he actually showed me that the next logical stuff uh, step was for me to put my brand on all the work, all the hard work and resources and everything that I had done over the years and to launch Labu Publishing Enterprise. And it's one of the greatest things that I've ever done. And I enjoy it so much. So the faith in stepping out, you know, um, were you working a nine to five? You know, what transitions and sacrifices did you have to do to start your publishing company? Well, I mean, actually, it's, it's pretty funny because it's one of those things that I, I really know that I'm walking in my calling with it and I'm graced to do it because it has not been a struggle. I don't feel like I've made a I, I, I've probably made all of the sacrifices over the 15 years to get here with okay. all of the things that I've gone through and walked through um, in this journey. And now, you know, even with the launch of the publishing company three years ago, it's been nonstop. Like we, it, we have never been without clients and it just keeps growing. So it's been quite a blessing. So when you talk about clients and, you know, um, as a publisher myself that puts out a, a publication, um, there's a different client for you. You know, there's a demographic that as a publisher you, you want to work with. Um, yeah. What kind of writers and what kind of content fits perfectly under your publishing company? So the majority of our books that we publish are nonfiction, mm -hmm. um, primarily self-help, people writing their memoirs, um, people writing things that will impact the lives of other people, you know, through their personal stories, things that they've overcome. Um, you know, like I said, their healing journeys, what they've had to go through. A lot of people from the faith-based faith -based community um, write in our books. And um, so it's primarily the nonfiction, um, although we do have a couple of fiction writers, but the majority of the people who come to us, um, a lot are first time authors and are writing non-published, I mean, uh, nonfiction works. So what would your advice be to a first time author? You know, for me doing business development and hearing the dreams and goals of, of so many people every day, um, I hear those stories that, you know, they have mm -hmm. something inside of them. They want to get it out, but they're yeah. quite unsure of how to start. And the process itself can feel overwhelming. What advice would you give to a person that's watching that says, you know what? this year, I want to write my book. I want my story to help others. Yeah, I would say don't be intimidated by the process. So a lot of people get in, get intimidated before they even start the process. And I always tell my writers, well, nothing happens until you write. Like people are 15 steps ahead and they haven't even put anything on the piece of paper yet. Okay. <laughs> and so it's very important that they know to just start. And sometimes that's a struggle because people say, well, I have no idea where to begin. You know, and there are certain things that you can do, whether it's um, outlining your work. You know, I tell people, think about if it's somebody who's writing sort of a, a memoir, let's say, and they want to talk about the things they've experienced in life. Well, first, write down all the significant things you feel have impacted your life, right, okay. over your lifetime up to now. Write those things, write those things down and then go back and look at what is the story I want to tell now, like what pieces of my journey do I want to, you know, talk about now in this book? And then once they have weeded those out, they can go back and fill in the blanks. And all of that becomes an outline. And those things you wrote down, you know, are what your chapter titles will come from. And so I think people make it a lot harder than it actually is just in their minds before they even start the process. And so I would say, be willing to step out on faith, like you said, start the process, you know, contact who you need to contact me, preferably, <laughs> and get help you know, to work through that process because we're, we're here. We're here to help. Yes. So um, if they are wanting to contact you, what is the best way to contact you? They can contact us at www.laboopublishing.com. There's a contact page there. And then there's also our email address, staff at laboopublishing.com. And that's really the best way um, to get in contact with us. And we and our response time is, is quick. So we're always there and willing to help others. 
So in this current edition, IBA Success Magazine, Woman Warrior, um, you have to definitely check out her profile. She, um, Kimberly answers questions. She gets intimate with us. She shares with us. She gives us advises, advice. And then again, all of her links are there. You can click directly from our digital edition and contact her immediately. You know, again, I think the number one thing anyone should walk away with is just start, yes. put your ideas down, you know, um, and if you are lost or you have questions, maybe reach out um, and, and look at some of the art books that she has put in out in the past. Where can they find some of these books that you have written? So um, all of the books are on Amazon, but if people want to actually look at the library that has some of our books in it, they can go to labootpublishing.com and click okay. on authors and they'll be able to see, you know, other books that we have published and then they can find those books on amazon.com. Mm -hmm. A lot of individuals may want to know, you know, at the end of the day, we're like, okay, how much is it going to cost me? Mm -hmm. You know, what can a person, I know each person is different, but what can a person expect? What kind of budget should they put together if they're wanting to create a book? It is, it, there's a wide range, but mm -hmm. if you want it done correctly, I would say budget at least on the low end, a thousand dollars up to um, maybe 3000 depending on what you're looking for. Um, there are ways, you know, people say, well, you know, a lot of people say you can publish for free. And that's not entirely true because by the time that you pay for your book to be edited, that's at least four to $700 to have it done correctly. Mm -hmm. And um, and then book cover design, you have, you know, your formatting and layout. There are so many things in that process. Um, and if it, especially if it's your first book that you're releasing, you want to make sure that it's done right. So you do want to budget for that. And you do want to hire people who can help you do it the right way because you want your first introduction to the publishing world to be a good one. Because really, if, if it's not, then you mess up yourself for the second, third, fourth, because then people are not going to trust you, you know, as, as, a, as a person that's publishing. If you're putting out something that's full of errors, if the cover looks like it's done you know, haphazardly. <laughs> so you want to, you know, you really do want to take the time, research and have it done right. And if you need help, ask for help. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that so many um, um, people have tried to do it themselves, you yes. know, try to Google through the process. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I live by and um, I, I really focus on this conversation with any entrepreneur is kind of the GPS mindset. You know, yeah. if you want to get to where you're going um, and you don't want to go the wrong way and drive two yeah. hours and realize you have to come back, you know, deal with someone that is experienced in the area because I've learned and it doesn't matter what kind of business or investment you're going to have to make either a financial investment or a time investment. So I've always been taught to allow the people to do what they do best and be okay with, um, with delegation and sharing your visions. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. I mean, you can spend all the time trying to research and by the time you finish, and you finish paying for all those things, you probably could have paid a professional to do it for less than what you've put out now. And you don't have all the headache and the stress of trying to figure it all out on your own. I've been doing this now for 15 years. And so, you know, I know <laughs> the process, I know what I'm doing. I have the resources, um, you know, my company, we love this and everybody, you know, our staff, everybody is passionate about what they do. So when you work with Labu Publishing, that's what you get. And we are dedicated um, and committed to producing something for you that is a masterpiece that you can be proud of um, to send out into the world, especially, like I said, if you're a first time author, just getting it out there. Mm -hmm. Now, you've published several books. What would you say one of the biggest lessons that you've learned from book one to book 13? Wow. From book one to book 13. <laughs> oh. I know that's a big one, huh? That is, that is a big one from book one. Wow. When, when I started book one, I will tell you, though, when I, when I started book one, I did not try to do it myself. Okay. I hired someone like 
I am now, <laughs> you, okay, know, okay. Me. you know, so I, I wasn't foolish enough to think that I could figure this all out on my own. Um, so I've grown so much since then. And I know that it doesn't take forever to publish and, mm -hmm. um, and that if you want to do it, just, just, you have to commit to the process and just get it done. Um, mm -hmm. Just perseverance, I guess, you I know. Guess. <laughs> um, recently, which I have the privilege to be a part of, you started a book club. Okay? Yeah. And let me just say, and I said this to you before we got um, on live, is I've always wanted to do a book club. Um, I've always wanted to be a part of one and to be able to partner with you and just to sit back and relax and be a part of an amazing group uh, yeah incredible book was life-changing. Um, tell us a little bit about your book club, the book that you're currently reading, and what's your goals for that? So it has been a dream of mine to, to start a book club. And really, it wasn't, it didn't start out as my focus for 2021. <laughs> it just kind of happened because I found this great book, Okay. You know, I'm an avid reader. So I found this this great book, Black Woman Millionaire is the book that we're reading right now um, by Dr. Venus Opal Reese. And I found that book on IG. And I thought once I started reading it, it was just such a powerful read. I thought, well, why don't I find a couple of ladies to read this with me? So I ended up posting it on Facebook asking mm -hmm. who wants to read this with me. And it it ended. We ended up with fifty four people, or something, and it's like, okay. And so, being that I did have on my list of goals to create the book club for Labu Publishing Enterprise, that was one of the things that I wanted to start. I thought if I'm pulling all these women together now to read this one book, we might as well just go ahead and start the book club because I don't see it stopping and we'll just keep going with it. And so thus now we have L LPE Readers Cafe uh -huh. and there are 50, you know, 54. And we just started this like what a few weeks ago. Yeah. So 54 women, I think is what we're up to now in that group. And, um, and we're reading Black Woman Millionaire. And it's, it's just been phenomenal. We actually, you know, just had Dr. Venus Opal Reese to come in and bless us to talk about her amazing book. And, uh, and we, and it's just been, it's been challenging. It's been fun. Um, we've been there to support each other through this process. And, and it's just been a great joy. So I'm happy that, you know, I just decided to take the plunge and go ahead and start it. Yes. Taking the plunge, I think, is the number one thing, you know, yes. um, knowing what your dreams, your goals are, stop putting them off, you know, work with someone that can assist you in that way. Um, when I, you know, was started out being an entrepreneur and my story goes so far back, my number one passion was to just help others see the value in themselves through their passion. Yes. Um, teach them how they can profit. Um, and working with you as well as so many other women in this edition, you have your own special stories, but you also bring that value to someone else that wants to create their dream and their passion. So if you're watching this interview today, and if you know someone that is interested in writing a book or have been writing and And this is the time, this is the video you want to share with them and let them know that there is support there. There is support there with publishing, there's support there with marketing. There's no reason why you should not take advantage of your passion and your skill right now. Um, if you're watching, subscribe to Jennifer Yon Agency, share this video. Also to stay connected with Kimberly. Um, tell us again how they should stay connected with you. So www.laboopublishing.com is the website and staff at laboopublishing.com is the email address. And you can find me on all social media platforms. I always tell people, if you can spell my first name, you can find me anywhere because there are not a lot of Kimmelies out there. So K-I-M-M-O-L-Y, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's everywhere. <laughs> 
Google her. Google, yes, Google yes. yes. I'm Googleable. So. Google and then ju Google Jennifer Yon Agency. Yeah. Um, we want to help each and every one of you see the value in yourself and tell that story, whether it's through entrepreneurship or whether it's writing your story. Um, reach out to us, connect with us. Um, this is what the Jennifer Young Agency Network is about. IBA Success Magazine. We are not the average magazine that's going to stick your face on a pretty page. We are campaigning for you. We are putting some action behind your goals. Mm -hmm. So subscribe, check out this new edition. Um, read Kimberly's story. Any last words that you want to tell our audience about you um, before we close out today? I'm here to help you. You know, I'm here to help you get your stories told. Um, stop sitting on it. I always say that I feel that it's selfish for us not to share our stories and to talk about the things that we've been able to overcome. It's meant to be shared with somebody. So please reach out to us. Let us help you get your story told. We are here to serve you. And with that said, this has been another edition of Lifetime Success with Jennifer Yon Agency. My network and I is here to serve you. So subscribe, follow us, make this year the year that you dominate your goals and pursue your passions. Thank you all for watching another episode of Lifetime Success Women Warrior Series. I will see you for the next interview. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs>